Now, just as a review, in case some of you are new to this, new to this party, remember what gaslighting is. It's a denial of the reality of another person. And this can be actually denying events that occurred, or behaviors that were engaged in, or words that were said, or it can just be an invalidation and denial of a person's emotions. Someone saying things like, you have no right to feel that way, or you're being too sensitive. But this is a type of gaslighting that has been coming up more and more, and I wish I'd pointed it out earlier as a form of gaslighting, because it is. Most of you have experienced this too. It's actually a big contributor for why many people are stuck in gaslighted and narcissistic relationships. So let's tell it as a story. You know the scenario well. Behind closed doors in a narcissistic relationship, it's invalidation, devaluation, manipulation, lying, criticism, anger, rage. But then you'll be with the narcissistic person with other people, with friends or family or work event. And the narcissistic person in your life all of a sudden is the most charming, gracious person you have ever met. The narcissistic person in your life remembers people's names, pulls people's chairs out, takes the hand of an older relative and helps them down the stairs. They pay the check for everyone. They compliment people. You feel as though you've gone through the looking glass into the matrix. You look at this narcissistic person and think, what, what, wait, 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 this person's actually really great. I forgot. No, I really like them. Oh, no, I'm, I was so wrong. They're cool. I'm always trying to sabotage things in my relationships. My standards are too high. My partner, my husband, my wife, my parent, whoever this person is, I'm so lucky. I need to stop overthinking this relationship. And then, just to confirm what you think, oh, I have such a great partner or something, your friends and your family, whoever, all tell you, oh, you're so lucky, what manners, how nice. Then you go home, you're kind of feeling warm and fuzzy, even in the car. And then the door closes when you get home. And the face looking at you isn't the same face of the person who pulled out a chair for an older relative or helped someone down the stairs or picked up the check or complimented people. The face, the person now, is unseeing, unempathic, and contemptuous or distracted. The warmth, the charm, poof, all gone. Now you're really confused. What is real? This back and forth. We had such a fun time at dinner. They're lying and manipulating me. But we laughed a lot at that movie. They're really criticizing and devaluing me a lot. That back and forth, that whiplash, it's the architecture of the narcissistic relationship. These relationships are always three steps forward, four steps back. But the cognitive dissonance means that you focus on the three steps forward and you don't notice with those four steps back, you are always falling behind, one step at a time. And it becomes easier to blame yourself than the relationship. But these big, grandiose shows of generosity and solicitude in front of other people, especially other people who may matter to you, that may be one of the ultimate gaslights. Because now everyone is in on the delusion. People see the generous, helpful, solicitous, charming person. And because most people out there don't understand or recognize narcissism or gaslighting, they think you are the problem. And since there are many people out there who are experiencing narcissistic abuse can be anxious, sad, and self-doubting, people may actually view them, other people may actually view the person experiencing narcissistic abuse as the problem, and the sunny narcissist is a saint for putting up for the negative Nelly who's complaining about this relationship. This is gaslighting. The narcissistic person who needs narcissistic supply is no fool. They often know that they need to put on a show to get supply. But narcissistic people are built to be interpersonal sprinters. They can only wear the mask of charm for so long before the exhaustion gets to them. And then they are back to being their malcontented and contemptuous selves. It's why that come down that mask comes off as early as the car ride home. 
So in the end, many people think of this as a disconnect. They're a charmer in public. They're a cruel manipulator at home. It's actually not a disconnect. The narcissistic person is doing what narcissistic personalities do, getting their supply in public.